I remember my mother used to say there's a little of the boy in every man and a little of the tomboy in every girl. I think she was right. I think that explains the way we feel about sports cars these days. Well, here's about the happiest automobile I've ever seen. The men who designed this had fun. And the builders and the testers had fun. And while it's never going to take the place of the family car, I, for one, am going to have a lot of fun owning it. Now, this could never have happened unless the world's largest manufacturer of automobiles had put its tremendous resources back of the job of designing and building a sports car to uphold American leadership in every field of transportation. They built her to handle like an angel, with every ounce of weight right where it belongs for perfect balance, clean and sleek and efficient looking, and light and strong. And they kept the cockpit simple and practical. For the power plant, they started with the finest valve and head engine. Some extra special features of higher compression, triple side draft carburetors, and dual exhaust give her 160 horsepower. Naturally, the automatic transmission quadrant's on the floor. That's in keeping with sports car tradition. In addition to the speedometer, there's a tachometer to measure engine revolutions. They call her Corvette. And she belongs to the highway, just for the sheer and simple joy of driving, for the open road and the country byway, for Mr. and Mrs. America in a carefree mood. Boy, what a car. 